now Fox 5 weather. All righty and good morning. Look at that beautiful morning shot there. That's a giant ball of gas up there in the sky. Notice the sun and uh, popping up above some of those high level clouds that are uh, shifting off toward the east. We will get more of those clouds continuing to filter in uh, from the west and southwest over the next uh, day or so as we got this uh, giant uh, frontal boundary off the coast of northern California and Oregon that's still spitting in lots of moisture and also very cold air. That is something we'll be dealing with over the next few days here as that cold air continues to influence it's our weather. Our temperatures are going to continue to drop, and it's also going to bring in lots of winds. We're already seeing some of the impacts of that frontal boundary and low pressure system to the north with the uh, effect of southwesterly winds that will get stronger as we get through the morning hours and into the midday hours. So that's something we'll definitely be watching there. Uh, look at the future track for clouds and radar. It's like, will it rain? The chances are maybe on uh, tomorrow. We're looking at the potential of getting some scattered showers around the area right around the 10, 11 o'clock hour in the morning. And definitely some mountain snow showers are definitely possible as well as we get into uh, Thursday, another shot of potential moisture that could be scattered about. All this is going to be very light. There's not going to be much in the way. It's not going to be a soaker or any type of downpour. We're talking about maybe one one hundredth of an inch, maybe up to maybe five one hundredths of an inch of rain. It's not going to be a whole heck of a lot. Just enough to get the ground wet and also make things slippery for the drive. Same thing for Friday morning, a potential as well. As we continue to uh, take a look at that, we'll also take a look at the fact that we're going to be dealing with forecasted wind speeds that are going to really be howling. These are sustained speeds that we're expecting as we get into the afternoon hours. We're looking at sustained speeds up to about 28 miles an hour as we get between the 1 and about 7 o'clock hour tonight. Winds right now not too bad. We're looking at 12 miles an hour over in Laughlin, 10 miles an hour at Henderson, and 6 miles an hour at McCarran International Airport. Take a look here. If we look off toward the uh, Spring Mountain Range, looking pretty nice at the moment. Current temperature 50 degrees. Winds out of the southwest at 6 miles an hour. Temperatures in your neighborhood looking pretty good as well. 47 to 7 hills. Uh, 50 at uh, McCarran and 49 at North Las Vegas Airport. Take a look at a 10 day temperature trend. Uh, I might be curious about that. Right now we're going to be uh, trending way below average over the next few days coming up before we start bouncing back up as we get into the weekend before dropping below average yet again. Here is your uh, forecast for today. We're looking for a high temperature of about 65 degrees under dusty skies and temperatures around the area mostly will be in the 60s for most areas around the valley. The only area that's going to see 70s is uh, Laughlin with a high of 72. Here's your Fox 5 seven day forecast. We're looking for uh, 64 for today and then the temperatures get very chilly with temperatures dropping down to the 50s for Wednesday, Thursday and Friday. The winds are going to be there. It's going to be cold. Chances of rain tomorrow and Thursday are not going to be real pleasant around town.